Akini, Homo Yabemi, Nishinanam and Miwakamni, Lightam Lily Yapimni, Nishinam Hedidi. I'm Shelly Covert, and I'm the spokesperson for the Nevada City Rancheria Nishinan Tribe. I'm also the executive director of CHIRP, which is the California Heritage Indigenous Research Project. And we're here with our art exhibit. And I'd like to introduce you to my colleague here. Hello, my name is Mira Clark, and I have been a participating artist and the art coordinator for the Visibility Through Art Initiative for the past three years. And we're here to talk about this really incredible collection, Invisible No More. And it's really important that we discuss the process that goes into creating all of these art pieces as primarily non-Nisanon artists getting to work with the Nisanon. Absolutely. The Visibility Through Art project was created from the tribe's deep desire to interact and connect with our local art community. I guess that really stemmed from my question of how do we get amazing local artists to do the art we want them to do? <laughs> Mira and I, who is the art coordinator, we met one day at the coffee shop on a completely different topic. And I had asked her that question, like, how do you make artists make what you want them to make? And it was because of the conversation between the two of us that this project uh, was created. So because we are a terminated tribe and we're almost completely extinguished during the gold rush, history has not reflected our history <laughs> very well. And it really has become up to us to be the storytellers and the ones who are bringing forth this forgotten and erased history. We are seeking to have our federal recognition restored. And art has just been an incredible way to raise the visibility of our people. Art is a powerful tool for social change. And this is because two of the most innately human qualities are art and storytelling. And when we have the opportunity to bring those two together, we have an impactful recipe for shifting narratives, social change, as well as bringing about awareness. And the goal locally is to change the narrative from one of glorifying the gold rush to one of supporting, acknowledging, and respecting the local indigenous people. You know, we're walking a really fine line with this project, I feel. We have Native American artists who push back all the time against cultural appropriation. We talk with the artists that are involved in this project uh, deeply. For hours and hours and hours, they've heard me talk about our history and our stories. And I am sharing with the artists the desires of the tribe. It's really important that everyone understands that artists begin each year with a number of meetings with Shelley Covert sharing the history of the Nisanon with us and diving into topics of cultural sensitivity and cultural appropriation. And from there, they check in along the way with their pieces. And every year, the level of collaboration has only grown. This past year, we had artists paired one-on-one -on -one with tribal members to co-create works, as well as one artist led tribal members in a mineral paint workshop to create their own pieces. And I really want to take a moment to thank Shelley Covert and all of the Nevada City Rancheria Nisanon for allowing us in in this way and for trusting us with this project. And I do not say that lightly. It is a really deep honor. When we hung our first art exhibit, and watch the tribal members come in. Uh, es especially, there was this one moment uh, where one of our artists, Alyssa, had done a piece uh, reproduced from a photograph, a family photograph. And we had it sitting really right as you came in the door to the art reception. I got to witness my mom and my aunties who were in little children in the photo. They walked in and that was the first thing they saw. And my heart was beating because I didn't know if I was going to scare them or if it was uncomfortable. Um, but they had tears, of course, and they were tears of joy. And I was able to ask them later about their experience. They're being seen for the first time in some cases and acknowledged and we have this amazing group of artists who are just so receptive and they hold it in their heart that this is an important project and they want to see it done well. The biggest art piece we are making is coming together and listening deeply to Shelley and what the tribal members have to share with us and letting that inform how we're going to live here today and move forward as settlers on this land. <laughs>